Hey, this is Danny from Weird and Wired, and this is the Tape Deck Guitar. Now, this isn't just a tape deck, this is the Philips D7528 electronic clock radio recorder, which has so much going on there in the title that originally I planned for this to be a lo fi amp by hacking the radio and the speaker unit, as well as utilizing the built-in tape recorder to use this as a studio tool, a multi-use studio tool, but unfortunately when I got this and got inside and started digging around it was just absolutely short and it was very disappointing, but waste not want not and if all else fails just bolt a guitar neck on and that's exactly what is going on here. So in terms of the construct, this neck, it's a hockey stick banana headstock style neck purely because I think they're really cool and it is attached to a piece of pine wood which acts like a small body inside of this, it's a small frame. Using that technique you can basically make a guitar inside of anything really. I mean it's the, that's the core foundation of this, it's what I use a lot of the time and as long as you give enough space to it you can put your bridge in the right place so you keep the intonation right and you've got a crazy looking instrument which you can actually play so in terms of what electronics are going on here i had to completely gut this and i've got just a single neck humbucker this is a vanson humbucker i decided to go for the single neck humbucker for a few reasons one was kind of the design choice really if i had the humbucker in the bridge you'd sort of cover up the whole tape deck part of it and also i've just been experimenting with building using just a neck pickup lately and thirdly i thought with it being just the neck humbucker it's a bit more of a smoother perhaps a warmer sound so i thought that might lend itself to perhaps a more like analog sort of sound a bit smoother, warmer rather than being bright and punchy and obviously the tape deck being analogue and you know what I'm getting at. But I also thought that's all well and good but the radio sound as well like that's uh, that's just absolute tinny madness. So to make up for that there is a piezo pickup mounted underneath the bridge here as well as a switch on the side to go from lo-fi for the more tinny radio-esque sound of the piezo to hi-fi for the warmer more analog humbucker in the neck. Just a single volume which controls solely the neck. Uh, so the piezo you switch it to that and you've got one sound and that's just absolute tinny madness. And you've got your jack on the bottom there, a couple of strap buttons. These buttons on the actual tape deck itself are purely for show. These have all been taken off from the tape deck mechanism, just uh, held in place using a hot glue gun. And these buttons um, don't function, don't even move. The one that does though, which was very important to me at least, is having the uh, tuning knob. So that still, still moves around, serves no actual purpose other than the fact that it's uh, it's just nice to have it there and have an original component inside of this husk of a tape deck. So there's a lot going on, so let's just listen to it together. <laughs>
So there you go, the tape deck guitar. What do you guys think? Do you dig the lo-fi sound? Do you dig the hi-fi sound? Is there something else that I could have done with this? You let me know all your thoughts and feelings, and until next time, keep it weird and keep it wired. Mm, weird and wired.